welcome to my class. This video is dedicated to all the teachers out there who are really working hard to ensure their students' success. Because I know deep in our hearts that teaching is the most challenging, yet a very rewarding career choice. And as a teacher, you must learn to adopt to the needs of your students. And many times, this means that you need to deal with the different classroom problems, which all of them are, you know, common occurrences. And I believe that for you to be an effective teacher, you have the ability to recognize these problems and at the same time, you need to find solutions right away. So I will be talking 10 common classroom problems and their solutions. But before that, I have to elaborate that some of my solutions may not be appropriate with you and your classroom setup and some of my solutions are appropriate with you but not for me. So let's take it a two-way street, okay? Let's be mindful. And are you ready? Let's discuss now. Oh, isn't it very annoying when you have students who can't seem to listen, like they can't seem to follow directions or even pay attention to you? What solution can we possibly apply? Possible solution is that you need to ask your students what lesson or what thing you have just said. You get them involved. Uh, make them participate in your activity or exercises and even your classroom discussion. In that way, maybe you catch their attention so they will be able to listen to you. Isn't it very frustrating when you have students who are talking while you are also talking? Or maybe they're just talking about whatever they feel like talking and you feel that it's totally unrelated to your lesson? Change seat plans. Separate the students who are talking. Do you feel that your classes are out of control? Like whatever you do, it doesn't just seem to work? Possible solutions. Maybe you need to improve your lesson. Like make it more interesting, fun and educational. And aside from that, you need to make rules. Not just only rules, but you need also to make assumptions if these rules are working. Have you ever had students who just don't talk? Like when you ask them questions, their answer is always silence, like S-I-L-E-N-C-E. -E. solutions. Use care work. Care them with the other students. In that way, they will feel less pressure. One more thing, you can also make sentences and have that student finish your sentence. You can also do role play or dialogues from the story. Then give them roles, then they will be pretending to be someone else. Have you ever had students who are very disrespectful to you and they always use profane words like they swear to their friends or in the worst case scenario at you? Like they always say, what the, what the fish? What the frog? Ugh. Possible solutions. As what I said earlier, you always need to impose rules, not just only rules, but rules and sanctions. In this way, you can tell the students that you need to issue sanction if this will happen, if this student will talk profane words again. Have you been thrown to a large class like students number are 30, 40, 45 or more students? 
Do you find it very difficult to control? Hmm. Possible solution. You as a teacher can always do group groups, right? Maybe you can divide a class into two groups, like this group will ask the question and this group will answer the question, or vice versa. Do you have students who are always yawning like and having hard time staying awake in class? I have a lot. Possible solutions. You can always use icebreakers in class. Or you can add games or activities in your classroom discussion. In that way, you can let them participate. I tried that. Really? It's very effective. Is teaching stresses you out like every day you are always tired going to work? Try to have fun, like Joe, play with your student and make your class active. And my tip is that don't think that teaching is just only a job. Teaching is a commitment. Don't think that your students are only your students. Think of them as your family. Love them and care for them. Do you have students who hate you and your subject like they don't want to be there in the classroom? They always ask, teacher, may I go to the restroom, teacher, I have headache, and whatever reasons they make up. <sighs> Possible solutions. Always start your class with games and icebreakers. Create more games in the class. And if you have enough time, you can always talk personally to the students. Because sometimes, misbehaved students, they really just want attention. Attention not only from the other students, but also from the teacher. They just need to know if the teacher really cares for them. Students who are always using their mother tongue or their native language? Possible solution. Before starting the class, you need to impose the rule that students aren't allowed to speak their own language unless the teacher asks them to do so. And if they do it, there will be consequences with their actions. Staying your composure in the classroom is very difficult. But what's more difficult is having a responsibility of keeping your students awake and interested in your class. And this is our job, teachers. Our job is not only to teach certain subjects, but also to inspire and empower your student. A teacher's goal is to excite students about learning, writing, reading, speaking, and comprehending things. And I hope these tips that I gave to you today will be very useful for you in the future. Thank you so much for listening to me today and I hope you got a lot of ideas and information about this video. And to my fellow teachers, I just want to thank you for doing your best. Just continue that because we are inspiring people. I know teaching can be thankless at some time, but just keep on fighting because you never know who you are inspiring. Thank you so much and see you on my next video. Goodbye.